Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We launched our rocket at the end of the last episode, or right towards the end of the last episode. Uh, the next one is going to take a little while. We've got, we've got to wait for that one to build up a little bit, but uh, it'll get there eventually. Anyway, what I'd like to do today is I would like to continue on building up this area here. We, we've built the roads all over here ready for another residential zone and I want to just get that bit sort of finished off but then once we've done that I got an idea for another residential zone that I wanted to build that looks a little bit different and I'm not really sure where I want to plonk it at the moment I'm thinking I want to put it over here somewhere but I've also got forestry area over here as well um but yeah I do think that maybe around here would be one of the best spots for it and we could also fill in some of this with more residential as well and then I'll be able to do some industrial out this side. So, oh, abandoned buildings everywhere. Okay. Well, yeah, we do have a load of abandoned buildings in here because we just don't have the employees here currently. But I'm hoping that we'll get a load of employees coming over here and moving into the lower side of this one. We've got a little bit of busy traffic on this road. This seems to be the worst one for traffic, the worst culprit, because everybody's coming up here and wanting to go that way. And they come up this way, and they slow right down, and they don't go through particularly quickly. And does not... I mean, look at this. Look how far back they're going. And they're just not moving very quick at all. And some of them are going up and then turning round. And this side is going a bit faster, but still, it's, it's not brilliant, is it? We could really do with something that will cause them to take a quick trip from there up over to here. They're, they're really going up there, aren't they? I wonder if I could do, like, an overland bridge there. We'll ignore it. Just ignore it for a minute. We want to build more houses. So that is the first thing that we're going to do, is we're going to build these more houses, and we're going to go for some high density. I'll change that one there to high density, and that one there, and then also that one as well. So we've just got a couple of high density bits in the middle, and I'm going to fill in this area here. That's going to be low density there, as is... Uh, well, we'll do high density here. Those bits there. And along here as well. Like this. And that one. And then there. And then all of this in the middle. I want to do all of this. as high density stuff in here. So we get loads of extra people coming in here. So all of... We're going to do the whole thing. All, all the way in the middle. This outside edge here. This is going to be the low density stuff. But I'll do more high density in here as well. Like that. So we've got lots of apartment buildings, that sort of thing, being thrown up here. There we go. You know, if I'd not done curvy roads, we probably would have gotten a lot more people being stuffed in here, but still, probably be all right. Uh, you know what? I think we will do that as apartment buildings as well. And then we'll go for the low-density stuff over here, along this edge, all the way up through. And we'll also do the... Uh, well, I, I'm going to change that road. I'm going to change that to the one with the um, the noise cancellation barriers. Because I think that does actually help us out a little bit. So we put those in there like that. And you around there. Right. So we've done that. And these houses are going up really quick. So, I mean, we had quite a demand for housing anyway. So that should help speed things. That will um, get the population booming again. We, we really want this population to come all the way up now. I want to get it all the way up to the very top. Uh, I need to do that. There we go. And pop that one down and that one in there. And then we'll do this all the way through. Like that. Uh, all the way up along here as well. And then this piece here. And that should make life just a little bit better for the people in the city area there. And come down through here. I've got a bit in the middle there that I also want to do. And that there. And we've already done a load of it along here anyway. All of this is already the noise cancelling stuff all the way along up to there. Right. That'll do. That'll keep us going for a bit. We've got the extra housing there. I've already done a load of commercial buildings here. I think really we want to concentrate on getting more houses in here now. Um, rather than anything else. Because uh, we, we are running low on housing space. And the... Any of the new areas that we've got, they're building up very, very rapidly. Now, I've got the high-density housing there. So I'd like to start, just make just make a start on building this next piece that I've got an idea for. 
And, I mean, if, first of all, we want to have a look here. We want to see on, what's it, uh, natural resources right there. So, yeah, we've got a load of oil here, which is Applegate Heights. We've already got that established, and that will soon start being more established. Agriculture there, which we've got an agricultural zone over there. Uh, Hawthorne Park, although that's now just limited to the bit inside the roundabout there. We got rid of all the rest of it. Um, and then this area over here is mostly forestry. We've got more over this way. So we will make use of some forestry area. I will do some of that over there. I'm not going to worry about it over here. I, I'm not too fussed about forestry at the moment. Um, leisure, well, that's an industrial zone, so that's not going to have any. That's looking really good for leisure up there. Not so good down here and not so good in there either. So we will actually, we could take a look at doing some uh, leisure stuff now. Get that in place. What do we got? Parks and plazas. The Bouncy Castle is really good. That is, an, uh, that is a really good thing to get. And, you know, kid, kids are going to love it, aren't they? You know that the kids are going to like the Bouncy Castle thing. So we may as well get one of them. Well, that's use, it does use up an awful lot of space, doesn't it? If I could make a slightly smaller one. Put one in there. That's using up a lot of space. Have we got something different that we can use? Well, something that's slight. I don't want a fishing island in there. But what about a carousel park? That seems, does seem a bit smaller. See, we can put that one in there. That's kind of like right out the way of everybody. And then they can access it up here as well into this bit. And we've got more in there. It's this area here where we don't really have, because it's a one-way street. So if I put it there, it's not going to benefit these people downstream. I need to plonk it down here somewhere to benefit them up there. And those over there, they don't seem to have anything at all. Maybe I should put something in here. I'm going to put one there. Get rid of that house there like that. We've got a carousel park. That'll help. All of this here that's all in bright red. Yep. Right, that's made a significant difference to all of that. I need one more. Go back up through here. You know what? We don't have to have them. Do we? It's not like life and death sort of situation, is it? Well, I don't think it is. Uh, that one there is quite big. That one, that one's smaller there. So if I was to get this one, I could put that one... Yeah, well, they, see, they, they want to come downstream towards it, really, don't they? So, I mean, ideally, we'd want to plonk that one in there. That's that's biting into a lot of people. That's what I don't like about it, is it? Yeah, ooh, that's, that's quite savage, that one. No. Uh, nope. What have we got up here? I got a a plot. Yeah, that's that's really big. Um, what's that? Dog park. That's that's quite big. That's um yeah. That's that's even bigger. So I mean, really, that's the, the small park. Nope. The bouncy castle park is probably one of the best ones. We got the bouncy castle park, and then you got the carousel park. Uh, we could go for the Japanese garden. That's that's quite small and compact. But again, it, it does seem a little bit too big, and I, I don't really know which way it's going to benefit. I think we'll drop that one in there. Hopefully that will benefit some of these houses around it a little bit more. I do have a wave of dead people turning up at the moment, which is never a good thing. But we can't really do a lot about that. It's just kind of one of the things that happens with the game. And we'll take this Japanese garden... Can't put it in there. Ooh, I can fit that one there. It's going to kill off a load of these houses, though. That one. Nope. All right, we'll drop that one in there. That's going to make some of these a little bit better. It should make those brighten up a little bit as well. Should do. It's 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 not going. Oh yes, it has. It has eventually. I didn't think it was going to. Right. So we've got some um, happiness levels with it. It's like more comfortable. Everybody's happy and pleased. And it's just starting to improve with that bit there. We've also got $3 million now, which is excellent. I'm quite glad we went to the, um, you know, got ourselves completely broke right back at the start before we carried on much further. Now, this thing that I want to do, first of all... What we need to do to make this work is I want to go to here. Now, I'm putting a load of housing over here, but I am questioning the wisdom of this a little bit because I'm sort of thinking, well, how are people going to get to work when I really want them working over here? 
So it might be better if I do this thing over here somewhere. And that area there seems a little bit small for it. I'm not sure it would work. Um, I got so many joins with the trains and everything. I can't really move the, uh, the railways easily anymore. It's going to take quite a significant amount of effort and work to move any of the railways. So then we're kind of looking back over here. And where's those natural resources? Leisure there. Yeah, so all of this area here is the natural resources. Get rid of that. Um, which again brings me back over to here. So maybe I should stick a pass. If I st stuck a passenger station in here and joined that onto that track there, that one comes up here. It could potentially be used to come over this way. Hmm. Again, I I don't know. Don't think so. I think a direct route, a direct road going and joining in over here, maybe. That would be a good idea if we if we were to put like a big thing over this side. I mean, I do have this road here and they can come up and then they can come off and they can come into there if they, that's where they want to go. And I guess that would work. I'm, I haven't said what I'm going to do yet. I'm, I'm still um, trying to plan out how I would even do it. Right, so if I got that one, I, let's try and plonk it down over here. We can worry about the, the, um, the smaller bits later on. Uh, that's a roundabout. That's a large roundabout there. Right, I reckon we will start this off with a large roundabout right there. That's going to be the first bit. The first part of this major construction work that we're going to do. So that is highway on that one, isn't it? I don't want highway on this. Highway's not going to work, but it looks... Yeah, what's that? That's... Uh, that's six lane. We got six, so we got six lane that goes into it, and then you got highway on the actual bit in here. So the next, well, first of all, what I got to do is remove that, like that, and then we come to six lane. You know what? We can we can just go with the standard road. We'll go with this, and we'll see how this works. And I sort of want to bring it out a bit so that I've got room for the housing in between. So I reckon about there. And then I'll bring that one out like that. And then we come over here like this. So there's kind of a right... You know what? Actually, I did this wrong. I should have left the bits on the road. And I can use those as spokes. Because what I want to do is I want to build a round road. I want a big... Uh, well, not just a round road. I want a big circular area of housing. And I thought it looked quite cool. Um, and it does appear that the bit that I'm on... Unless I do it all the way down here. That's the only other option. Is I do it all the way down here. And we can connect in here to this road. And we could also connect into the tunnel here. Comes up to there. And... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it would be good down. No. Okay, we, we, we won't do that. We'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll stick with our plan and we'll do it over here. So I'm going to put that one there like that. Right. That's our spokes. So then I can take this one and I can go from there. Now, this has got to be the straight lines. I want to bring that one out at 180. So that one will go out to there. And then this one here will also go out at 180. And then we've got another one here that can come out the same. Over to there. And then we got one here, and that one can also move out like that. Right. Next up, we've got a highway that's running here, and I want to move this highway just a little bit. This cloverleaf here is not actually important. I'm going to leave the cloverleaf. So what I will do is I will break it from about this point. There, like that. All the way over to about that point there. Let's get rid of all of this. There. Uh, there we go. Right. And all the way up there. Right. That's now gone. And then I can go back to highway to start with. And then this one, I want you. And you're going to come out that way. And you are going to bend around there like that. And now, I want you to join in there, don't I? So really, we kind of want to bring you out that way. And then 
kind of to about there, I think, and then you'll join in. Yes, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, and then this side can go straight in and we can make a start with you already. Just go like that. And then up there like that. Go on, keep going. It's, it's, it's close. It's actually, I think this is actually going to work quite well. I want to bring that out a little bit more to there. And then it will curve round and it will come in. Right, so there is our motorway. Still working well. Our highway, as you call it in the States. And that gives me a little bit more space over here so that I can extend that one out a little bit further. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I need a straight line for that. Uh, that one will come out to there like that. Right, perfect. Now I can go to this one. And we will go for the small road to start with, like this. And yeah, I think if I bring that one on there like that. And we go straight out there at 90, like that. And then I bring that one up there. That's going to be the best way to move this one round in a circle, like that. Because we've got, like, the snap construction thing. There we go. Right, and then I bring the next one out up to... That's going to be too far. Actually, there. We, we want to go to that circle there. So I want to bring that one out at 90... Like that, and then bring it up to there, and up to the next one, uh, there, like that, and then that will come back in again. Now, because of where the road's going, it's sort of changing things a little bit. So we want to go to the landscaping, just a little bit, and now, this is where it gets difficult. If uh, Soften terrain, what's this, level, shift terrain, elevate and lower. Elevate by clicking with primary and lower by clicking with secondary. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to go with the structures here. I'm going to go for the waterfront structure, and I'm going to start by... I'll take that. And we go here on the waterfront, and I'm going to put that along there. So we've got this waterfront that's going to come all the way up through here. And then... Not going to go very much further. It, it's going to go a little bit. It's going to go like that. Problem is, it's getting too wavy now. I kind of need to stop it. So we'll, we'll just leave that one there where it is. And it's, it's kind of looking all right. So we want to go back to the roads. And let's just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to start this one up here. That one wants to go that way, doesn't it? So I want to come out at 90 degrees from there, and then I bring it down in, and we've got a circle on there. And then that makes the circle, and then that, and then that one comes back up to it as well. Does that look right? Sort of looks right. It sort of looks right. Now, can we get another one? See if we can get one more of these out. So we can go 90 like that, and then bring that to that point there and then there's a circle there we can connect into and right so we've got a circle there and I can connect to it in theory but it's it's not gonna like it because oh actually I wonder if this the, the waterfront here is what's causing the problem it may be that the waterfront is what's caused that little issue I might be able to do this better if I don't have this waterfront here. I'll remove that. I might be able to do it as a bridge. I mean, it's, it's not perfect having it as a bridge by any stretch, but, you know, better than a kick in the teeth. And there we go. And so, yeah, we do have a little bit of a bridge on there, which we can't build on, but it's continuing our little circle, which is what I want to do. Excellent. And we come out and we'll do a final one out here. So that comes out 90 degrees there. And that one, that's the point that I need to go to about there. And then we come back down here. That one goes on there. And then I come up here and that road is not actually long enough. i got to bring the six lane road out a little bit further. Uh, with that one there. That's got to come out there just a bit more. Um, there, like that. It's only got to come out a little bit, and then we can see about maybe building a bridge or something. 
Uh, so I need to go back to you and then... Nope. That one. Like that. No, it's got to come out 90 like that. And then we can connect in here. And then the final one there. And that joins in there. And that goes just underneath the edge of the rail. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. So we got our spoke city here. This is brilliant. I really like this. I don't know how well this is going to actually work. And I like the fact that we got it going into the river as well. I think that's actually a pretty cool touch. Um, so the next thing that I want is this one's going to come up here like that and we're going to bring that round to actually I'm just wondering if I should bring this one over onto this road over here I don't think I will yet I think we'll bring this to here no that that side there will connect up there this one here is going to go down this way a little bit and we're going to put a passenger station here so really I want to bring that to about there like that. And then I want to stop a minute and do a... We can go with a six lane road. I can put that straight across on there. And put it about there like that, something like that. And then we can run in here with some transport and we can go with the yep, passenger terminal. So that one will go there like that. And then we go check water pipes. Yeah, we haven't got water pipes here at the moment. Uh, and then we can go with that one there. And that will join in like that. And then you will join in like that. Right, so we've got a passenger terminal there. And I do think that we ought to consider a passenger... Oh, I've got a passenger terminal here, haven't I? I've got one there. And I do think we ought to consider a passenger terminal here somewhere as well. I'll take that one there and put one of these. Where should I put that? Just wondering where the best spot to plonk another passenger terminal would be. If even if you know if if I was to even uh, no, I don't think I will. I think we've got we've got a passenger terminal. Now we've got residents 132, tourists 220. So they are using it a bit. And I don't think I need to worry about stops between the city. I think that, that it'll um just fine without that. I mean, maybe I could do one from here. I have got to do the water a minute. We've got to do water and power. So we'll do water a second. And we're also going to have to then do something for sewage production. Because otherwise we're going to be in trouble with that. One there. That can go up that way. join in there and then we'll come out this way like this and there right now of course I got to join all of this together and that's too far apart so really I want to do one there join you in and you as well right and then the next one like that. Doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit. That's not quite overlapping there. I don't know if we're not going to have enough on it or something. And then I can bring this one up through there. Like that. And let me just finish doing this. Because this is not the most exciting bit that I've done yet. <laughs> We've got all of the pipes in place for our big circular city. I haven't got anything joined up with that one yet for power. But we're not going to worry about that yet. And then if we have a look at the rest of it, power we're actually producing all right, but water, I mean, I can build another pump over here. Building an extra pump in here is not going to be a problem at all. I'm actually going to plonk a few of these pumps in because it seems to be working well. So I put that in there as well like that. So we've got three new pumps in place and I will also connect them up like that. And connect you to there, and then you to that side, and then you can go straight up there like that. Right, so we've now got 1.38, 1.4 million cubic meters per week for that, which is absolutely no problem at all. 
Um, the only thing I don't have at the moment is the treatment works, which I need to put in here. So I'll put one there. And I'm going to put another right next to it. And then another next to it there. And another next to it there, like that. And then I will go to water. And we will join those together. And that one up to there. And then I'll do one there. And that one is going to go up like as high as it can go, actually, without um, going off the edge of the city. There we go like that. There. Right. So I've now got 1.6 million cubic meters per week of capacity for sewage and 1.4 for water. So we should be fine for water and sewage and power as well. Power's not too bad. That's, uh, we got 200 megawatts spare at the moment. And that's, that's not too bad either. Right. Next up, we need to connect this one up to here, and I want to connect it onto that road there, which means I need one of those types of junctions to go onto the motorway on this side. And that is the most awkward one for me, because it doesn't let you just take this and drop it down on top. You've got to fiddle around with it quite a bit in order to get it to fit. Uh, so it's right-click to make this fit. There, so I, that's where I want to put this one. I drop it in there, and yeah, that's that's going to be in the way of absolutely everything, isn't it? Everything is already in there, and we're going to have to move it round. So let's just pause things a second, and we will get rid of that one, and then we will go to here. And right, what have I got? That's all highway going in there. So I'll get rid of that. So we've got the edges of the highway. And then we'll remove all the highway, all the way back to that point there, like that. And I don't know if I can do this without removing that train. I cannot. There's no way for me to do it without removing the train first. So we're going to have to remove that bit there. We'll go through here and remove all of that. And we can put that one back in no time at all. That's not going to be any issue at all for us to put that one back. Uh, so then I need to right click and put that one in there. Let's just turn it slightly. Put you up. You see, it doesn't let you. Oh, oh, I can snap one there if I want to, but it's probably not going to like it. Right, we'll go with that. Then we will go with the highway. And this one over here, I want that one there. So we go like that. And that'll join that bit in there really nicely. And then that and that will join that one in there. Right, so we've got that side done. No issues. Hopefully this side will follow suit. That can just go in there and that go in there like that. So it's a little bit of a turn on the edge of the highway. But, I mean, they're slowing down at that point anyway, so it shouldn't matter. Then we've got this one over here. Now, I do need to just uh, remove that one. Actually, I'll remove them both because this is going to be... A little bit more bendy. I want to bring that one there. And then over that way a bit. And then we want to come up to there like that. And then this one over here, I want to bring that one. Actually, I need to have a six-lane road here a minute. Uh, there. Let's take you. And I bring you out that way. Except I don't want to bring you out that way. I want to bring you to there, like that. And then we can take that highway that can run into there. And we will go with you. And you will run in that way like that. And then this one here is going to run out from here. It's going to go straight out that way. And then it's going to go into there. Right, so we've got little bits of highway on there. And yet there's a little bit of a, a space on them. But again, it's fine. That's going to work really well for us. And then I want you and you are going to bring this out here. That's a straight line there, isn't it? So I want the wavy one for this little bit here. And that one's going to go to there. And you're going to connect that in there, at least in theory. Bring you over there like that. And connect you up. Right. Close enough. It's got a little bit of a wiggle on now, but it's close enough. And we've got the motorway all in place, so I can press spacebar and that we can carry on. Okay, 
So we've now got a road that can come down this way and we'll join in here. We've got a train station down there. We're not currently using that one, but we will be using that one in the future. Next up, we want another join and come off on that bit right there. So I'm going to need to build that one. So if I just pause it again and we can do the same thing that we did just now. We will use the old baldy dozer and baldy doze that out of the way there. Then we can go to our roads and we go to our junctions and we can take this junction and we can spin it round like that. Slope too steep. Doesn't like it. Does not like it a bit. It go up there but it won't go on that slope down here. It's all too steep. Which is a Crying shame, actually, because I'd really like to put that one up there. Uh, where are we going to... We're going to have to put it down here, aren't we? Right. That's fine. I can do that, because I can bring that that way, and then I can just keep going this way until he won't go any further, which is there. So I'll put that one in there like that, and then I go to highway. Actually, I'm going to have to go to the bulldozer a minute, and bulldoze those, those bits there. And then all of that as well. Right, remove that, and then I have to remove that one and that one as well, and then I can go with six lane, and I want Wiggly Road, and that's going to come like that. There, it's going to be quite a corner to come round on this one. It's going to come round there, and it's going to come up to that point there, and then we're going to switch over to Highway, and we're going to go from here, out that way, and join on to you. I think we've gone a little bit too far there. If I That's better. Like that. There. And then this one here can come out there and can connect in there. Right. So we've got the highway is coming out and joining up just fine. And then I've got another bit of highway that's going to come out there. And that's going to just curve straight round there and join on. And then the same is going to occur here. It's going to go straight that way. That's actually going a little bit too far, isn't it? So I want to bring that back a little bit. Just so that highway looks like it's flowing a little bit more evenly. So we bring that one up there. That works much better. That actually looks a lot better. Right, and then we can go from this one here straight across into you. And we can do much the same with this one to connect that one onto there. Right. So I've now got a highway connection on that side. I've got a highway connection on that side. This one here, I want to bring that one over. And I'm wondering if I should connect it onto here, onto this section. Well, I can't really connect it onto that section unless I move all of that down. Or if I should connect it here somewhere. Or if it would be better if I put like a, a direct line straight up to here. I don't think I should. I think I should just connect it onto that one. Because they can come out of there and they can go on the highway and they can go all the way across. So I could... And what have I got over here? This is... This is all six lane highway. This is all the way in. A six lane highway on there. So it's slower moving traffic. Except for that one. That's just a little tiny bit of highway. Uh, but yeah, generally it's slower moving traffic. So I could just bring a bridge across from that one there. And that would be six lane. I bring a bridge across from there. And we just go across here like this. Like that. Bring that one up. And then on here, on this corner, I do another junction. And then we literally, we got, we, we've got a couple of junctions that are really close to each other. And I could also do a tunnel off the side of that and bring the tunnel over this way. But I don't know... If that tunnel would be better, I mean, if I was going to do that, I would bring the tunnel off there. That would be the point that it would come in. Unless I connected it into the bottom of that tunnel. Because that tunnel there, I think I already connected into a tunnel, didn't I? Let's have a look. Let's come down. Yeah, I've got a... It, it comes off the side there. I've got one tunnel that comes up there. And i just got like a little piece that comes off it onto that one. Which connects in and then comes out of there. So I could turn this into a crossroads and I could join that... And bring a piece all the way over to that road over there as well. I like that idea. I really do. I must confess. Okay. Let's go back to you then. And I will take that one. And that is going to come out there. Right. I, I will lower that down a little bit further. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's looking good. And then that is going to come out over to here. 
That's going to be too high back there. So we want to bring it straight through here like this. There. And then it's from this point here that I need to bring it up. Back onto the surface. But it's, if I go all the way back there, it's going to be too early to bring it up onto the surface. Unless I go like that. I think we'll bring it up onto the surface there. And then I can go underneath this track. And I can join in there like that. And we can put a junction in there. So that's just going to be like one of those junctions. So then I can take my baldy dozer. And we can baldy doze this lot down here. We'll be connecting that back up in a minute. Put all of this down. I'll leave that one. Take you out there. And then I can go to you. And I got that one there. Right. So this one needs to turn round now. And wants to go... Something like that. We round it a little bit further. Something like that, I think. Why aren't you slope too steep? Very good. Right, yeah, we can put that one there. And then if I use the bulldozer and I take out those bits. And I also take out those bits there. Um, I might actually have to remove this bridge. come back over to there so that I can bring that round and we can connect the bridge. So let's connect in this end first. We'll bring that one there and so I want to bring that and yep I've got the right sort of road on at the moment. Nope. Okay that connection's no good. I need to go there and this one we've got to have a little bit of a wave on that one. It's a little bit wiggly and then that one there that one can come out and I think that's actually a little bit too much. I want to just sort of bring it like that and then there. Yeah, that'll work. We can do that. And this side here, I do actually want to remove that, uh, both of those bits as well. Because I need to bring that six lane up a tiny bit. I reckon if I bring that one there like that, then I can get the highway. And this side here needs to come straight down into it like that. And then this side over here needs to come out, actually, there. That's how that one's going to have to come out. It's going to have to come out like that. Um, I'll bring that a little bit straight. There we go. That's perfect. Right, so that divides up and that comes into the six-lane road. It's going to go into the middle of our section over here. So we've got this massive area. I'll change those roads in a bit as well. I'm not sure what the single-lane roads are going to be. They'll probably change. Although I'm not sure, actually. We might not need to change them. Maybe we'll just change the outside one all the way round and we'll upgrade that one. And we'll leave the others exactly as they are. And we can put, like major like police stations and stuff like that on the outside spokes and I think we will bring it right in and have a crossroads in the middle as well. We'll deal with that in a minute. The next thing we've got to do is get them across this railway and I think we'll go back with the bridge that we had there just now so I want to bring this one here first. That's got to come out like that and I want to bring you round this way now and now we've got to go up a little bit like that. Bring you across that bridge there. Uh, like that. And then you want to... Nope. You want to come down now. There. And you want to join in like that. And then the next one is going to come out here. And you're going to go up to there. Why... Why'd you do that? I've never seen it do that before. Right. Yeah. You're going to go to... There we go. And then you're going to go up. And you're going to go to there, and then you're going to come across this bridge here, there, and then you're going to come back down again, to there, and then you're going to come round there, which is quite a sharp corner for a motorway, really. That is a very sharp corner for a motorway, I'm not sure that I like that, I'm thinking that maybe we should change that. Maybe put speed restrictions on it. You know what? It's fine. We, we, it's fine. It's fine. We've done it. We've we've made our choices. Let's start this plane again. So we've got that is connecting on down there. And then they can come up there. We've already got traffic now coming straight off here and using this road. Uh, yeah, they're pulling UEs. That's why. They're using it to just come up, turn around and go back the other way again. All right. I didn't actually expect that. And then we've got all of these up here. That passenger station is not being used at all yet. But all of these are now connected up. We've connected up that road, that road down there. We've got the passenger station and we've got this over here. Our new 
housing estate over this side is doing well. It's building up. We've got 58,800 people so far. And it's starting to do well. I think it is starting to look good. So what I'm thinking is that we're not going to do all of this as housing. A lot of it's going to be housing. I'm also going to do some office in here as well. So first of all, let's go in and do the upgrades that we want to do. So first and foremost, we definitely want to upgrade that inner road. And we're going to just do it to this to start with. But I'm thinking that we're going to need to have better roads than this anyway. Um, I'm thinking that we go with that one and we go with the six lane decorative road. It's going to be this one here. It doesn't take up any extra space to have the decorative road. Uh, but it looks an awful lot nicer. So we'll go with that and we'll de uh, upgrade those all the way out that way. And all the way up to the bridge on this side as well. And then down through here. So we've got an avenue of trees all the way down here. Like that. And I'll bring that all the way down to the station so it's looking good. Because we'll be using this as well. And then there was one other thing I want to do. And that was to put a crossroads in the middle in here. Now I don't actually have to have a crossroads. I could just do it like that. But I think this whole effect is going to work better if we do do it as a crossroads like that. Less space being used in the middle, but I still think it's a better effect. Uh, the first thing that we would do is we'll do office space. In, I'm going to do that today. I'll do that in the next episode. Uh, but I'm thinking office space on the inner circle and the second circle there. The third circle is going to be high density commercial. And then all the rest of it is going to be housing. The very outside round will be low density. And then the rest will be high density housing all the way through. And so, yeah, we've, we've got, um, there'll be some high density housing in here as well. This is going to, I think it's going to look really good. I'm quite pleased with what we've done here. I am. I really am. And we've even got a few day trip visitors coming in as well. But anyway, that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.